All right, here's a question you never knew you needed to ask. Can you actually survive being swallowed whole by a whale? Think about it. One moment, you're cruising through the ocean, minding your business, and the next, chomp. You're inside the belly of a giant sea creature. It sounds like something straight out of a movie or even ancient myths like Jonah and the whale. But could it really happen? And if it did, what are your odds of survival? Would you suffocate, get digested, or somehow pull off the ultimate escape? Today, we're diving deep into the science, the dangers, and the survival strategies, if any exist. So buckle up, because this is going to be wild. Number one, the whale factor. All right, so before we talk survival, let's figure out if it's even possible to be swallowed whole by a whale. And not just any whale, mind you. We're talking about the giants of the ocean, sperm whales. Here's the deal. Most whales, like humpbacks, can't swallow something as big as a human. Their throats? About the size of a grapefruit. Not exactly spacious, right? But sperm whales? These creatures have throats large enough to gulp down a whole seal. And yes, that includes you. Once you're swallowed, your journey would begin. First through the throat, then into the stomach, which is broken down into chambers almost like nature's version of a multi-story basement. But here's the kicker. It's dark, slimy, and there's no elevator back up. And as crazy as it sounds, there are stories, legends even, of people encountering whales close up and surviving. So could you end up inside a whale? If it's big enough, the answer is yes. But surviving? That's where things get tricky. Ready to dive into what happens next? Let's talk about the wild journey inside the whale and what it might mean for your chances of survival. Duchess 2. What happens inside the whale? All right. So let's say you've been swallowed. What happens next? Buckle up because this journey is about to get wild and terrifying. First stop, the throat. As you slide down, you'd feel intense pressure. It's narrow, wet, and dark, and the air starts running out quickly. Not exactly the kind of water slide you'd want to ride, right? Next, you're dumped into the stomach, or rather, the first chamber. That's right. Whales have multi-chambered stomachs designed to break down food. And you are now part of that process. Here's the bad news. There's not much oxygen, so you're already struggling to breathe. Then come the digestive acids. Yeah, those aren't just for plankton. These powerful chemicals start breaking things down fast. You'd feel the heat, the burning sensation, and trust me, this is not where you want to be. And let's not forget the sheer size and pressure inside the whale's body. It's pitch black, the temperature rises, and the lack of air is a race against time. Spoiler alert, your chances aren't looking great. So while it might seem like you've stumbled into the ultimate marine adventure, surviving inside a whale isn't just unlikely, it's next to impossible. But hey, don't lose hope yet. Let's talk about whether there's any survival science that could save you from this nightmare. Number three, the survival science. All right, let's say you've made it inside the whale's stomach, but you're still alive. Is there any scientific reason to believe you could survive? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about air. Could there be an air pocket inside the whale? Technically, it's possible. But here's the problem. Even if there's a pocket of air, it wouldn't last long. Your oxygen would deplete quickly, and the carbon dioxide buildup would become deadly fast. Then there's the issue of temperature. Inside a whale's body, the heat starts to rise. Add in the digestive acids, and your surroundings would feel like you're trapped in a boiling pot. Even if you avoid suffocation, the combination of heat and acid would make survival nearly impossible. Now, let's get creative. 
What if you had tools? Could a knife help you cut your way out? Unfortunately, a whale's skin is incredibly thick, and getting through it would take much more strength and time than you likely have. There's also no scientific evidence that anyone has ever survived being swallowed whole by a whale. Even the famous Jonah story, that's more myth than reality. So what's the verdict? The science says you probably wouldn't make it. But hey, it's still fascinating to think about. And what if you did try to escape? Let's explore some wild survival strategies next. Draw four. How would you escape? Okay, so you're inside the whale and it's looking grim, but what if you decide to go full action hero mode and try to escape? Let's break down your slim but not entirely impossible options. First up, could you trigger the whale to spit you out? Whales sometimes expel things they can't digest, like giant squid beaks or debris. If you could irritate the whale's insides, maybe by thrashing around or grabbing hold of something inside its stomach, there's a tiny chance it might cough you back up. Disgusting? Yes. Effective? Maybe. Next option, wait for a breach. Some whales breach, launching themselves out of the water. If you timed it right, there's a chance you could be forced out with the pressure. But let's be real, it's a long shot, and the timing would have to be perfect. And then there's the Hollywood approach, cutting your way out. If you happen to have a sharp object, like a knife, you could try slicing through the whale's stomach lining. But here's the catch. Whale skin can be several inches thick, and cutting your way out would take a lot of strength and time. Two things you probably don't have. Of course, all of these options are massively risky, and most scientists would tell you don't get swallowed in the first place. But hey, thinking about wild survival strategies is half the fun, right? Now that we've covered escape strategies, let's wrap this up and decide. Can you actually survive being swallowed whole by a whale? Let's break it down. Between the lack of air, the crushing pressure, and the digestive acids, the odds are definitely not in your favor. Sure, there are some wild theories air pockets, triggering the whale to spit you out or waiting for a breach. But realistically, surviving this scenario is next to impossible. Let's just say this is one ocean adventure you don't want to star in. But hey, thinking about it is part of the fun, right? The idea of being swallowed whole sparks our imagination and reminds us how mysterious and terrifying the ocean really is. So, here's the bottom line. Don't worry too much about whales because they're not out to eat us anyway. Stick to safe snorkeling, maybe avoid diving too close to the big guys, and you'll be just fine. Now, tell me, what would you do if you found yourself inside a whale? Would you fight, wait it out, or come up with some crazy escape plan? Drop your ideas in the comments and let's see who can come up with the most epic survival strategy.